Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. The following occurred on Sunday, August 13th, 2023. I was piloting the drone you see here. I was recording illegal animal abuse at a Mexican-style rodeo outside Joliet, Illinois, in Will County. The people running the rodeo are very unhappy about sharks' efforts, especially since we've exposed things like horse beatings, untreated animal injuries, animals shocked with electric prods, and other cruelty. So the rodeo first sent a drone out to try to intimidate us. If these clowns had bothered to research us at all, they'd have known we don't back down to this silly nonsense or anything else. With their impotence on full display, these fake cowboys decided to up the ante. The operator of that small drone obviously did what he did on purpose. Intentionally hitting a drone is a serious federal crime, especially when someone uses another drone to do it. Both drones could be badly damaged and pose a very serious threat to people on the ground. Somehow, both drones managed to stay in the air, at least long enough to land safely. Predictably, the cowardly rodeo drone pilot stayed hidden, or at least he tried. We carry extra drones, so I was back to work very soon. Before long, the rodeo drone was also back in the air. Shark's drones have a lot of magnification, so when I saw the rodeo drone, I zoomed in to try to read the FAA-issued registration number. And you know what? It worked. The drone's registration number is FA30NKE7RWFT. Those of you watching who are drone pilots might notice that this is a 12-digit identifier, while a legitimate FAA number would only be 10 digits. So now we know the pilot is faking an FAA registration. If the pilot is illegally ramming drones and has a fake FAA number, then he surely doesn't have a Part 107 certificate either. Finally, because of the rodeo property's proximity to Lewis University Airport, we had to get a waiver to fly in that airspace. I would have bet the farm that this pilot didn't even know what a waiver was, so the story keeps getting better and better. Next, we looked for the pilot. We followed the drone as it illegally flew over the open-air gathering of people at the rodeo. That is another violation, on top of all the other violations. Finally, we saw the drone land on a commercial van, and we got our first look at the pilot, just barely. Then, we got a better look. Once the rodeo was over, it was time to identify the pilot of the rodeo drone. The drone registration number is of no help, because it's as phony as the fake cowboys of the rodeo. So we searched YouTube to see if the pilot had posted other video footage from this rodeo location. And that's where we found two videos from Angel's View Photography. Could this be our mystery pilot? The pilot's YouTube account led us to his personal and his business Facebook pages. And there he is, Angel Ramirez. We put all the information we dug up into a nice letter to the Federal Aviation Administration, so Mr. Ramirez will hopefully be getting to know some of their investigators very soon. All of this is happening because Illinois' billionaire governor, J.B. Pritzker, wants to be president, and he wants a Hispanic vote. Pritzker considers all Hispanics to be supportive of animal abuse. And so he won't direct his Department of Agriculture to come down on these cruel and illegal exhibitions. I hope proud, decent Hispanics will contact Governor Pritzker and tell him that you don't support this cruelty. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. Consider sharing our videos so other people can help save lives. If you'd like to support Shark directly, you can follow the donation link in the description section of this video. If you'd like to gain access to exclusive content, consider sponsoring us on Patreon.